Thanks for tuning in, everyone, to this broadcast of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. And our broadcast team tonight, Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right. And the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, along the sideline. And it's Vucevic missing. There's an element to Nikola Vucevic's game that fits well with most of the league's modern offensive speed. And with his inside-out game, he's a guy that can stretch the floor. And Kevin, when you look at today's NBA, nothing is more important than spacing and passing. And when Vucevic is on the court, you can be sure the spacing will be excellent. Monk with the ball, now defended by Levine. Hello. And I love the muscle hey. Anthony brings to the three spot. Takes pride in outworking everyone when he's that deep inside. The kick out to Williams. That's that falls. Williams. Nice feed that time from Ball. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Oh, and the West jam West by Westbrook. West. Check out the elevation from Westbrook. He's got some of the best hops in the league. The wide open look here for DeRozan. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Tries again. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Ooh, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. James right side. Outside Westbrook. Shot clock at five. Come on, James. To the start of this Russell game. So far, a perfect yes. four for four. Levine wide open. And a miss there on the triple. The Lakers with a quick start to this game. LeBron. And James throws it down. Russell. They need a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Now Westbrook, following the three-point attempt by DeRozan. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Ball's knocked loose. And here is Los Angeles now. Here's Davis. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Four, two. You see the weight that 80's added to his frame over the years. Now invites contact. Vucevic with it. Now guarded by Monk. It's off the run. Vucevic with the bucket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now here's Westbrook. Here's the drive. Yep, that one goes. Westbrook's got six. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. And Davis now, top of the key. To the middle. Here's James. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Here's DeRozan. Makes it off the glass. One of the biggest progressions for DeMar DeRozan. Now can create a shot off the dribble in a... Oh! Yes. LeBron. And this is how you fire up your teammates. LeBron with a 10 on that one. Kucinich down low. Williams with a clean look. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. And this team looking to get him the ball and get him in rhythm quickly. Because he's someone that you lean on at the LeBron. offensive end. Mm. Establish him early. Russell Westbrook has an exceptional talent for creating for his guys. He sets them up, and boy, they are knocking him down. Outside Williams. From deep three-point range. Knocks down the three ball. He's got eight. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. 
It's all in by the Bulls. 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Levine. Right side, ball. Back to Levine. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. That's his first foul. Five seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's DeRozan. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. DeRozan's got his second ball moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers. They've gotten a lot of high-quality shots in the paint early on. That was clearly part of their game plan coming in. And the other thing, though, is their execution in terms of their ball movement has been flawless. Sets up a lot of easy scoring opportunities. It's his first trip to the line. 76% at the strike for him thus far this season. You love what LeBron James brings on the court, off the court, in the community. His contributions are always front and center. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. And Davis gets it to go. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Out to DeRozan. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. You know, Steve, we're in this era of wide open, up tempo style. How much fun would you have playing right now? Kevin, it would have been a blast. The floor spacing gives you so many options offensively, and you can take a whole bunch of threes. However, at the defensive end, in my era, you couldn't hand check. So now it would have been a lot of work. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. The stop and pop on a dime. If Levine ever gets consistent with it, watch out. To the inside. And Davis throws it down. One of the cases where Hype fails to tell you the whole story. We're closing it on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Outside, ball. Back to Vucevic. Six to shoot. Pulls it from the elbow. Out to DeRozan. That one a tad off line to the right, but drops in for him. DeRozan's got five points now in the quarter. And at times, it just feels like DeRozan is still underappreciated. Receives a lot of criticism for what he doesn't do. Hit not enough credit for what he does. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Pass to Levine. Another three for Chicago. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge who's reporting from the sideline. Yes, Thank you, Kevin. Anthony Davis, of course, is a superstar at both ends of the court. LeBron James says his ability to guard anybody on the floor, one through five, take the challenge to guard on the perimeter and continue to protect the paint, it's hard to score on him. Guys, PA, he is a lead in every way. Thank you. Yes, sir. Though LeBron loves to keep his teammates involved, when he's spilling it, like tonight, he'll call his own number. Pass to Westbrook. Back to Anthony. Oh, and a jam by Anthony. And going to the rack with energy. And indeed, afraid to cut him off. Yeah, gotta chalk that one up to some shaky defending. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged. And everything has to be earned. The Lakers in the lead. One nineteen left in the first half of the game. Here's James. From down in the low post. It goes. LeBron's got 15. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. 
And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. And now a six point Laker lead. Offensively, it's been a perfect quarter for him. He hasn't missed a single shot. On the wing, Williams. Tries it from 19. That's and the shot Williams. goes down. He's got 10. The floor awareness of ball excels at getting the ball to his uncovered teammates. A shot by Williams, no good. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Davis with it. Now guarded by Ball. And they double up Davis. Pass to Westbrook. Lakers working the ball around now. Just five on the clock. And the basket is good. Hello, Anthony's got four this quarter. Yeah, just superb focus there for Melo. Overpowering the D and still finishes. DeRozan for three. DeRozan. Hits the three-point bomb. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. It could go. And that would have. Lakers leading by three. Here's none. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And there is no better way to add to the lead. In that true GA, especially when the slam is coming from the point guard. It sends a message that we're going to be aggressive no matter who's taking the shot. Pass to Reeves. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Lakers lead by five. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Double team on Williams. On the wing, Williams. Trying to find Vucevic. Gets it to him. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Vucevic has got his second bucket of the game to go. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assist pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Two points. That one goes. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Outside, Levine. To the paint. That one doesn't drop. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was not. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Stolen by Ball. Fires the three. And the Bulls, That's another Levine. three. Sweet looking jump shot from any distance. Levine's range goes well beyond the three point line. Now when Lonzo Ball entered the league in 2017, Greg, there were major questions about his shooting. And he struggled, of course, during his rookie year. Yeah, and, and shooting 30% from deep and under 50% at the line. But credit to Lonzo. He's put major work into his stroke, getting that free throw percentage to over 75% during his fourth year in the league. And his three-point numbers, they've also improved greatly. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And Levine, here we go. Hits the layup after the that sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Levine's got 15 points. The burst of speed from Levine. He's so tenacious and clever on the drive. Full substitution. Bulls trail by four. Here's Caruso. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Hey, guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. <laughs> In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> The powerful frame of Stanley Johnson, able to withstand contact on the interior. This time, gets sent to the line. He makes one of two that time. Chicago with the ball. They trail by three, and it's Green missing. The Lakers with the ball. 
inside. Plays it up and punks it in. Johnson's got five points in the quarter. Aggressive move by Stanley Johnson. Can score the ball a number of ways inside. Down low. Brown. Good. And it's Corey picking up the assist. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Here's Gunn. Off with the layup. Bulls trail by three. Pass to Brown. Here's Caruso. White down low. Now here's Thompson. Shock up two here. His playmaking is improving. It's encouraging to watch Kobe White dice up the pick and roll defense. Here's Reeves. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. No clue how he got that one to fall. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Anytime you get as many points from the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going. They do, and then you also see a lot of points that come off the dribble penetration. They've been aggressive on the bounce at attacking the defense. Pass to Caruso. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. Tristan Thompson with the bucket. That's their third straight make off an assist. The Lakers in the lead. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Here's Johnson. The jumper's good from inside six feet. Johnson's got seven points here in this quarter. One side of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Pass to White. Here's Thompson. Back to White. And here is Brown. For the tie. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Los Angeles calls timeout. Here's LeBron. No good. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. And Vucevic has got the ball here for the bowl. It's a three-point game. Bangs home the trifecta. Guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there. And he's been relentless. And the level of focus Westbrook has. Excellent at taking on the challenge and winning his way through the contest. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Here's LeBron. Shoots over DeRosa. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That one on DeRosa. The defense is all over LeBron, so he gets physical to ensure he's fouled while shooting. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And, Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings, the most all-time. It would surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after that. Really, uh, the 
right play defensively if you can't block, force him to the line. And so he makes both from the line. And one of the most underrated bigs in the NBA, Vucevic quietly dominates on a consistent basis. Using his height and length there to prevent the second chance opportunity. Master Williams. And measuring for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And the Lakers have possession. Guys, they're holding on to the slimmest of leads. Yeah, and you can't afford to let that thing get any slimmer. Now, here's Monk. Driving in. Oh, and two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. I tell you what, he's tenacious on the drive, isn't he? I mean, Monk constantly looking to get to the free throw. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Four three, Levine. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Back to Levine. With the drive, and Levine throws it down. Explosive move there by Zach. Quick first step, then a thunderous finish. To the paint, and LeBron throws it down. Going high to throw that one. Sky high, fantastic one-hand jam. And Levine, here we go. And Davis sends it back. This is what A.D. gives you at that end. He's made the all-defensive first team multiple times. One of the league's great competitors, the second LeBron catches the ball, you can see he's looking to rise to the occasion. Back to Vucevic. Over Monk. Vucevic with the bucket. Vucevic has got four points in the quarter. Look at that shot. Vucevic not afraid to carry the weight, so to speak, in a tough situation. But you know they can rely on him. Locked and loaded tonight. Whenever he's got any kind of a decent look, he's knocked it down. He's been the reason they're in this position to win this game. He's been consistent and reliable. And let's dunk by James. Rising up with force once LeBron takes flight. Just get out of his way. To the inside. Vucevic. And Vucevic throws it down. And coming down the stretch here, both teams still on fire. Yes. And if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. This has been a highlight real affair. Looking to make plays for others. We've seen this from him all night. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. They retain possession. Back to Vucevic. Second chance shot. Pass the ball. Yes! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Outstanding read by Ball. Sizes up the situation and hits the biggest shot of the night. And the foul on Patrick Williams. That is his first foul of the game. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Oh, and the jam by Anthony. And not the prototype power forward, but he has tremendous athletic ability. And the rejection by James. A shot by Williams, no good. And here's James, he'll bring it up for Los Angeles. He hits the first one, and then stretches their lead to eight. Second one is good, in both at the line, and it's a nine-point ball game. 
And that's a wrap. Those free throws being the nail in the coffin. Moves back up. Levine for three. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Monk for three. And Vucevic pulls it down. Pass the ball. Now DeRozan. Back to ball. No good with the wing jumper. Here's Westbrook. Can't get it to ball. Yeah. And so the way. Chris Webber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is their sideline reporter. And it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. And it's Ball penetrating. The wide open look here for Vucevic. And, and shooting 30% from deep and under 50% at the line. But credit to Lonzo. He's put major work into his stroke, getting that free throw percentage to over 75% during his fourth year in the league. And his three-point numbers, they've also improved greatly. Now, here's Ball. Following the miss by Kyle Lowry. Heat Ball. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Vucevic. Here's Otobio. Can't hit that one. Great team that time from Vucevic. And here is Ball. Al Levine. Here's Vucevic. And it's off from three-point range. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold Jimmy stretch Butler. offensively, for sure. How about Butler's smooth moves? Superb at getting creative with the ball. Levine. Levine. And then Levine with the champ. You can see why Levine won the dunk contest in 2016. I mean, he has endless ups. Pass to Tucker. Back to Adebayo. Robinson on the wing. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Cold start gets a little colder. Just one for four to start the game. It's stolen by Adebayo. Butler in the corner. And the layup Jimmy falls. Butler. And Butler feasts from this area. The defense has to do a better job in how they speak. Here's DeRozan. And finished off by DeRozan. Oh, Kevin, not a petty, not a manny, but a crazy blow. Bounce to the ounce, Greg, yeah, showing off the bunny. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. So in Chicago now, following the score by Miami. Just five to shoot. There's Levine. That shot off. Now the Heat take it the other way. Heat moving the ball around. Outside for Robinson. To the middle. And Jimmy Butler Jimmy again. Butler. Butler's got eight points. He's perfect for me. He's giving it fits out there. It's Williams high post. Kick out to Levine. Back to Vucevic. Front pass the arc. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Wow. Butler letting it all hang out. This is why he's This quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Six for six. He's Jimmy yet to miss from the field. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Here's Levine. 
And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his first personal And ball. Levine improving as a playmaker, Chris. Ball. His assist totals continue to grow. He came into the league as a point guard. He's been a shooting guard for a long time now. And he still has strong playmaking instincts. I mean, and when you think of Levine, I mean, his dunking ability comes to mind. I mean, he's proven uh, to be an elite poster man. Miami five. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for, for the Heat. They've carried out a great game plan in the paint so far. Working it down low a lot and getting high percentage looks. And the other thing, though, is their execution in terms of their ball movement has been flawless. Sets up a lot of easy scoring. Spruce. Outside for Martin. Pass to Autobio. to Hero. Shoots the three. Connects from three-point range. And a legitimate threat to connect from deep. Hero doesn't lack confidence trying his luck from there. And Levine, here we go. And the Bulls with another miss. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Offensive rebound. Here's Hero. Tyler Hero. And he comes up with the deuce. Heroes got five men. Oh, and the touch on the interior. Hero can hit jumpers as well as capitalize. And push. Never afraid of being flashy with the ball. Levine has a knack for making the defense look good. Jimmy Butler has been on display for Miami. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Heat? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Old school approach. I mean, if you have a favorable matchup inside, just keep pounding it in there. And now in transition, here's Williams. Here we go. Oh, that was a strong start. That's how you go. Patrick and that's the athleticism. When the Rosen takes off like that, he is looking to ring the bell. And Levine, here we go. That's to Vucevic. Outside, ball. There's Levine. And then Levine with the chair. Look at that awareness of ball. Fantastic in recognizing when his teammates are riding. Here's Otobio. And good. And it's Odebo picking up the assist. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Ball with a wide open look. Got his first three points of the game. Work in progress, but the ball needs to keep developing his three pointer. Open things up a little. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Ball surveying the defense. Out to the wing. Here's Vucevic. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Hey, Greg, you had a lot of success playing in college and the NBA, but what was the most fun? It's the floor. And Kevin, when you look at today's NBA, nothing is more important than spacing and passing. And when Vucevic is on the court, you can be sure the spacing will be excellent. At the elbow, it's Thompson. Pass to Caruso. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And the Bulls lead by one. Here's Tucker. There's the three. Chicago grabs the miss. And you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Green with the ball. Tries again. Here's Thompson. Jimmy Butler comes up with the rebound. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as he gets. It's just a fluke. 
Lowry drives in. A wide open look here for Oladipo. Off target from three point range. Pass to Caruso. Now here's Thompson. Here's Caruso. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. The putback. And that'll be Miami two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry gets first, one up there. No and guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far? At the bottom the bull. Bull. The three-pointer has been a major weapon for them in early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working on the perimeter. Yeah, and I think another key, guys, would be can they continue to hit that mid-range shot? I mean, they've been very effective Miami here ball. early on. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, the league remains in love with three-pointers, but DeMar DeRozan remains true Duncan to his Robinson. game. He says, if I see 100 people walking left, that doesn't mean I'm going to do the same. I see this clear path and want to stay right. Shooting threes, I feel like I'm settling. Whereas I think anytime I drive, I'm going to score or get fouled. Kevin, with the strokes, different folks. Yeah, but DA, I love that strategy. Thanks for that story. Here's Butler. Oh, Jimmy Butler. Oh, from gold player to star, Butler's transformation has been fun to watch. Now he backs up points with ease. Outside, White. Let's it go with a three. And it's Thompson with the jam. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle, some urgency from him there. Sure. A nice shot by Tucker. I mean, it's evident that Tucker likes trying his luck inside. He has the size, weight, toughness, and touch to be effective. You can talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that ball? And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. Into the Heat. Bam Adebayo. Here is Lowry. Caleb Martin. Five seconds separating the shot and game blocks. Bulls foul. Javante Green. That's his first personal foul. 23 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Lowry drives in. Heat moving the ball around. Lock at six. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. That's him coming off an assist from Adebayo. Three points. Robinson's got five. And what can Adebayo do? I mean, gets the tough rebound, scores the tough baskets, and then makes the right pass. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Outside Butler. Slammed off and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. That one that's on Vucevic. Personal foul. Oh, look, that's just the energy that Butler displays. A fiery personality who welcomes overcoming all types of challenges. And really, hard to find more intense players than Jimmy Butler. This guy is 100% focused on winning at all times. One of the ultimate competitors in our league. Outside Lowry. Count that one. Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got the lead up to seven now for the Heat. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Here's Vucevic. Back to Levine. To the left side wing. That's to Vucevic. Now here's DeRozan. Defended by Butler. And the basket by DeRozan. And with Butler, and his intensity break, it's a perfect fit for him in Miami. 
And yeah, it can rub some players the wrong way. But it goes hand in hand with the culture here. Hard to imagine Butler on a team other than Miami. Inside, here's Vucevic. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Just now for a three-point play. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. Bulls getting their seventh free throw attempt here. You've got to appreciate their ability to make free throws. 81% as a team. And Patrick Williams, the fourth pick of that 2020 draft. A bit of a surprise when he was taken. Most mock drafts have him have around the top 10 spot. His stock rose very late in the process. When the Bulls came up. Well, Levine's game is defined by energy and aggression. And, Kevin, you tend to forget this about Levine. I mean, he's still so young. You feel like he's been in the league forever. Adebayo drives in. No good that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. The assist. Oh, he's known for his defensive Butler. chop. Butler, he is opportunistic and aggressive. Now he comes up with steel. Pass to Vucevic. For the tie, it's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. You know, Greg, I was just thinking about Zach Levine and his age. He's just now in his mid to late 20s. And he's grown so much since that rookie year. Excited to see what numbers he can put up as he gets ready to enter into his line. And Levine with the shot. Levine! As soon as Levine hits a few of these, you know he's feeling it. Just keep getting him the rock. To the paint. Here is Tucker. Up there from outside. And the he Heat another three. They have ridden him today, and it has paid off in a big way. Vucevic with the bucket. Vucevic has got six points in the quarter. And an eye for an eye. Two Both teams looking to stretch the floor. Two minutes. He's done so much emphasis on the part of the game. But you can see why after that sequence. Here's Vucevic. Great D that time from Adebayo. Outside for Robinson. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And now it's an eight-point heat lead. Well, I think Jimmy Buckets has underrated vision. He's more than capable of spotting open teammates and distributing the court. To the inside. Vucevic. And Adebayo sends it back. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. Victor On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. After their trip to the NBA Finals in 2020, Miami Heat is looking to get back to that championship round. Jimmy Butler says, we know what we're capable of. We want to get back to the Finals. We can get back there. I like our chances against anybody, honestly. Nobody intimidates us. Kevin? A great attitude. They've shown they can compete at the highest level, David. Thank you. Back to Butler. Doesn't go that time. And the Bulls going the other way now. There's 38 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. And it's Ball in the corner. For three, it's hauled in by Hero. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And that one's good by Butler. Butler. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. And Levine, here we go. <laughs> this gets the team fired up. Levine is an energizer who enjoys dropping the hammer on the drop. Oh, and the jam by Butler. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. And so it's Miami holding on to an eight-point lead. 
Bulls trail by eight. Outside, Levine. Into the lane. And the jam by Levine. Oh, he makes it look all too easy. He's someone you can't allow to get this kind of position. And Oladipo has it in the corner. The kick outside to Butler. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Just four to shoot. Here's Oladipo. Rebound by the Bulls. Levine with it. And it's Martin picking him up. And Levine, here we go. Pass to Williams. And Williams with the stuff. Doing many things well. If you want to be when this guy's rope. A heat leading by four. Butler in the corner. In corner, Lowry. No good on the shot. And here's Levine who brings it up for Chicago. Here in the fourth quarter, the defense has been very strong, allowing no passes. And using every bit of that large frame. For the exclamation point, Vucevic a force around the rim. Back to Oladipo. Yes, to Spruce. Butler in the corner. Oh, and the jam by Butler. That's just smart basketball. Lowry reading the overcommitment and just whipping the ball to the open man. Shots good by Williams. Chris Williams. Williams has got four points now in the quarter. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Over to the wing. Back to Oladipo. The kick outside to Butler. Moves back up. And Lowry has it in the corner. Outside, Levine. And Levine with the slam. Levine. Blur in the open floor. Levine is great at hustling and converting the transition. Now a timeout called by Miami. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. He continues. Coaching the team during the break. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? Thank you, David. Inside, here's Vucevic, and swing dunk by Vucevic. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> but you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And rightfully so. Also, how that was the defense right there with the score this time. Now we can't get it to go. Chicago leading. Paul. And Ball slams it in. Take it the biggest possibility of time. You gotta respect Ball's tenacity. And the team caps on Lowry in moments like this. He keeps his cool and finds the big basket. Here's Levine to the paint. Here's Vucevic. Fires from deep. And his hot hand continues. 10 of 11 from the floor. And looking for more. This is what leaders do. Levine commanded the rocket coming through in the big spot. Bad shot. This is the time to work the ball with shots. To get the best shot possible. That's the way to make the comeback happen. One of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Just a fantastic look. Now a timeout called by Miami. They're trailing by seven. 127 left here in the fourth quarter. It's in the books so far here in the fourth. There's the drive. And then Chan down. Yes, he goes right over to Cole Vucevic. Ah, uh, and Butler has been in these spots before. He's Rosen with it. Butler covering. And not sure they've got enough time to save himself. Yeah, uh, it's quite unlikely. But we've seen crazy things happen. Wants to get it to Adebayo when does. And there's the whistle for the second violation. Oh, oh. 
side, Levine. Fifty-two seconds left in the fourth quarter. And then Levine with the jam. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. And from the moment he stepped into this league, Tyler Hero has wanted these big shots. A prime time play. Levine gets the bucket. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Don't take your eyes off Bam. When he comes off the floor, he gets up and the slams are just too good to miss. And it's Vucevic in the corner. Another three for Chicago. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. And that's why they're in the driver's seat right now. Oh, oh that was super <laughs> He's put on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. And his presence has...